everyone welcome to Hannah Reads. My name is Hannah and today I have my very first book haul on my channel. So I decided instead of doing a monthly book haul every single month that I will do collect and keep track of the past two months so in this case May and June of the books that I acquire and then I will show them to you guys. Um, I get books from a lot of different sources. I don't tend to buy books new but I do participate in little free libraries where I unhaul books I'm no longer interested in and try to see if I can find some gems that have been discarded by other people in my community. Um, some of them are from the Once Upon a Book Club book box subscription. Some of them I get at thrift stores and some of them I do buy on Amazon new. But that's just a very small percentage and then a, I do acquire a bunch of Kindle books as well with either Prime Reading or through Goodreads. So just a plethora of stuff. I have a bunch of different genres, types of books, new releases, older books, hardcover, paperbacks, just a lot. So we'll go through them. I have them separated by month. And the very first book that I acquired in May was Hide and Seek by James Patterson. I got this at a little free library. I have not read any of James Patterson's yet, but I am very excited to get started. This one sounded good. It sounds like it is about a singer named Maggie, who um, looks like she's being accused of murdering not one, but two of her husbands. And it looks like it's like maybe the trial that takes place. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but James Patterson saw it, kind of had to pick it up. So here's the first one. Okay, and the second book that I got also at a little free library is called The Edge of Everything by Jeff Giles. Um, I picked this one up because it did talk about being set in Montana, and that is where I'm originally from, so I had to pick it up. But it appears to be maybe a young adult book about a girl who... Got, gets stuck in Montana and then is somehow interacting with a bounty, bounty hunter. Um, I haven't heard like anything about this book on booktube but it could be because it came out in 2017 but I was excited to pick it up. It is like a brand new uh, brand new hardback so this was the second book that I got. The third book that I acquired was also from a little free library and that is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I actually did read this book in June um, for my deck of TBR. If you want to check that out, I will have my June TBR linked below and then I also have a wrap up that is coming out or is already out with my more in-depth thoughts about this book. This is a pretty common contemporary book about a girl named Maddie who has a pretty serious illness or disease where she is not allowed to go outside because she is allergic to the world. And then a very cute boy named Ollie moves in next door to Maddie and is captivated by her, captivated by her and just wants to know more about her and be in her world. So it is just the two of them trying to figure out how they can be in each other's world when they're not meant to be in each other's world. So I loved this book, but you'll hear more in my wrap up if you would like to know more in-depth thoughts for me. And the fourth book that I acquired in May was actually gifted to me from Steph from Steph's Bookish World, and that is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. I This is a very new release that I'm very, very eager to read. I have not had a chance to pick it up yet, but I know it is about a girl named Rovin and Rovin has some magic or powers that will assign her an undead spirit if she shows them and she keeps it a secret until she accidentally doesn't keep it a secret and now she is t seems to be tethered to the spirit and it is just her and maybe I believe it's like a love triangle as well so I'm very excited about this and I do know that this book does have LGBTQIA plus representation in it. So very, very cool. And the next book that I picked up is actually what I would consider a classic, a modern classic. I had a copy of it, but I wanted this better copy. So I saw this in the little free libraries and just had to pick it up. And that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by JK Rowling. I have read this book many, many, many times. I just wanted to have nice 
hardcover editions on my shelf as I do plan on keeping these for a very long time. And I had the first book in a mass market paperback edition that did not match any of my other ones and it bothered me tremendously. So now I have this nice copy of the first book in the Harry Potter series. So I was very excited to acquire this in May. Okay. And the next book that I acquired in May is Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. I read this for the middle grade monthly pick for June and I loved this book. It is a middle grade contemporary book about a boy named Archie who finds out that his dad is gay and he finds a flyer for pride and it's just him trying to discover how his dad being gay and pride how that all works together and he's desperate that to learn more information so that, that he can reconnect with his father and it is just a beautiful beautifully written story it's got some pretty fantastic illustrations if I can find so Yes, it is just a gorgeously illustrated book. It was very, very good. So if you're a fan of middle grade contemporary or just middle grade in general, I suggest picking up this book. And it is also obviously has LGBTQIA plus representation. So I love this. I will definitely be keeping this on my shelf and recommending this to any fam any friends or family that I come across that are looking for book recommendations. The next book that I got, I got from a used bookstore in my town, and that is a copy of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I did not have a copy of The Hobbit, but I do have all three volumes of The Lord of the Rings as a kind of bind-up bundle, so I just felt it right to have a copy of this, and I saw it in a local bookshop and could not pass that up. And the next book that I got was from a library book sale, and that is Then, Now, Always by Mona Schroff. This is the story of a woman named Maya who owns a bakery in New York and she lives with her teenage daughter Samantha. So when Samantha gets into some legal trouble, Maya has no choice but to turn to her father Sam who she has not spoken to for a while. So it is just kind of their story and the reconnecting between all of them. So very, very cool. The next book that I have is also from a library book sale and that is A Spark of Light by Jodi Picoult. This is the story of a police negotiator or a hostage negoti a hostage negotiator named Hugh McElroy who gets called to a woman's reproductive center where there is a hostage situation going on and he comes to find out that his daughter is actually one of the hostages inside and so now the stakes are really high for him and so I just believe it is him trying to talk down the criminal and get his daughter and everyone else back safely so okay and the next book that I got I actually got off of Prime Reading which if you don't know what Prime Reading is if you are subscribed to Amazon Prime you are allowed to obtain a Kindle book for free every month they give recommendations so the one that I picked for May was called Beneath Devil's Bridge by Lorth and White um, this is this is a book about a true true crime podcaster named Trinity who is covering the murder of a young high school girl that was murdered about 20 or so years ago by a man named Clayton and she is interviewing Clayton for her podcast and Clayton is adamant that he had nothing to do with her disappearance so it is Trinity's kind of mission at that point to see is Clayton really guilty or is someone else behind it and she be, kind of becomes a detective and I don't know, it sounded very, very good. I'm super into true crime podcasts such as Crime Junkie and My Favorite Murder. So I was very excited to kind of put my two loves of true crime podcasts and books into one. So I picked that up in May as well. And the last book which I got from the Once Upon a Book Club book box, which was a five star read for me in May, was The Mary Shelley Club by Goldie Moldavisky. It is no secret if you've been watching any of my videos that I am loving this book. I believe this book is going to be in the top three books of 2021 for me. I absolutely love it. It is about a girl who has a traumatic event happen to her and she has to go to a new school and she goes to a new school and she is kind of considered the weird girl and she finds herself in cahoots with the Mary Shelley Club, which is a group of kids who are very into 
horror movies, especially old school horror movies, and they pull pranks on people and they call them fear tests. And it's very, very cool to see how this main character, whose name is Rachel, bears through getting all this and the fear tests and just how she interacts with this club because it is not exactly what she thought it was going to be. Those were the books that I got in May. In June, I did not get as many. The next book that I got was from a library book sale and that is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I have not read any of Karen Slaughter's books. I do have one of her books on my July TBR, so I'm very, very excited to pick that up. My husband is just a, a huge fan of Karen Slaughter, so he strongly encouraged me to pick this up when we saw it, so I am hoping to get to this very soon. This book seems to be about two sisters, Claire and Lydia, that used to be close, but now they are not because they, it seems like their other sister, Julia, was murdered two decades earlier and one of their husbands ends up getting killed and that kind of brings them together to try to repair their family and kind of figuring out why their family was destroyed in the first place. The next book that I got in June was from The Prime Reading and in June it was Prime Day. So instead of getting one book with our Prime subscriptions, we got two. So the first book that I picked up is The Seven Day Switch by Kelly Harms. Um, this book appears to be about two women who are mothers who live next door to each other, Wendy and Celeste. One is a very working mother and the other one stays home and kind of takes care of, their, of her kids. And a potluck, a neighborhood potluck goes bad, a little too much sangria, and now they wake up in each other's bodies, a whole Freaky Friday kind of thing. And now they get to live the, their lives through the lens of the other and figure out if they really think that the other person has their life together. So the next book that I got through the Amazon reading through Prime was Have We Met by Camille Baker. And this is a adult contemporary romance about a woman named Corinne whose life is kind of a mess right now. She just lost a friend to cancer and she decides to get on a Tinder-like app and see if she can't find love. And it's just her kind of navigating her way through love, grief, and everything else that comes with just being a woman trying to find yourself. So I thought it sounded really good and I was happy to pick that one up. The next book that I got, I ordered off Amazon for myself, is Poor Unfortunate Souls by Serena Valentino. This is book three in the Villains series. I am doing a book review kind of collection on my channel. If you'd like to check those out, I have the two prior ones, The Beast Within and Ferris of All, that I will link in the description if you want to check those out, full thoughts. But I have this book on my July TBR, and it is the origin story of Ursula from The Little Mermaid, who is one of my favorite villains. So I'm very excited to get to this in July, and I will let you know my full thoughts on that in a full, complete video completely dedicated to this book coming out either late July or early August. So the next book that I got was out of the Once Upon a Book Club book box, and that is Luck of the Titanic by Stacey Lee. This is the story of a young Chinese woman named Val who has dreams of making it big in New York. As a circus performer, she currently lives in London, and she has a ticket to get on the Titanic. The only problem is they won't let her on because she is Chinese. So it is her struggle to get on this boat so she can make it to New York, make it to the circus, find her twin brother. But now, as we all know, that what happened in the Titanic, it also becomes a story of survival. So the next book that I got was actually a gift that I got for my husband. And it is Sherry Lupina's The End of Her. It is about a couple named Stephanie and Patrick who have twins and they are enjoying their life, but then all of a sudden this woman named Erica shows up and says that Patrick murdered his first wife and that he is not the man that Stephanie believes him to be. And I haven't read any Sherry Lupina books, but my husband raves about these, so I am very excited to pick this up soon. Next book that I got is City of Rust by Gemma Fowler. This is a middle grade sci-fi book about a young girl named Rayleigh 
who wants to enter a drone race with her mechanical gecko named Addy. But things become a lot more serious than a drone race when the fate of the entire world falls on their shoulders. So I'm very excited to read this. It is on my July TBR. So I will be getting to this book very, very soon. And the cover is freaking gorgeous. So yes, very excited for this one. So the next book that I got is Hole by E.A. Roller. This is a book about a young girl named Mara who is figuring out that there, every person has an alternate being or part of themselves, everyone except for her. So now she is realizing that she may be able to communicate with her deceased father through this other self and also just kind of navigating through love and figuring out why she doesn't have this alternate self, I guess. And the next book that I picked up I am very excited to get to is 1500 Miles from the Sun by Johnny Garcia Vila. Um, this is also an LGBTQIA plus representation about a boy named Jules who is appears to be a star soccer player but when some things that are out of his control come to light he is outed as being gay and the only person he can turn to is a boy named Matt who slides in his DMs on Twitter and he wants to talk to him and Jules wants to talk to Matt because he's the only support system that this boy has. The only problem is that Matt is 1500 miles away from him in California. Okay, and the next book I received an arc of is I Am Margaret Moore by Hannah Kappen. This is a story about a group of girls that are from a naval school, one of them named Margaret. And she is kind of in the center of a bunch of people going missing. Um, a boy is dead and all fingers are pointing to uh, Margaret. So I think it's going to be a very fast paced thriller. So I'm very excited to pick this up. So yeah, this was my very first book haul on this channel. So please let me know if you have any tips or suggestions for me going forward. But yeah, I did get a bunch of great books. I try not to acquire too many books. Try to use the library or Kindle, Libby, whatever I can. But yeah, these were the few books that I got. So if you liked what you saw, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, everything else. I will see you guys next time.